Hello guys, this is your boy Ali Solanki and today in this video we'll be talking about the new crypto trends that are coming out in 2025 and this is by a blockchain developer. I've worked on many of the projects that I'll be talking about in this entire video and I'll be deep diving into each one of these projects and why I think this particular trend is going to shake up the world. Now you might have seen that Bitcoin recently reached $100,000 and that is not a small feat. Usually we've seen this happen with every bull run which happens in around 4 years duration. Last time it was in 2020 to 2021 and before that it was in around 2016 to 2017. Many of the analysts looked at Bitcoin's market cap instead of understanding that Bitcoin in itself is scarce. That means there is only a top limit to which Bitcoin can be mined. This is unlike precious metals like gold and silver. Now due to this, Bitcoin has even crossed the entire silver's market cap. So in this video, let's talk about what is the trend moving forward because if you've already missed out on investing in Bitcoin, there are still other coins that can give you a 5x, 10x returns which I'll be talking about in this particular video. This is not a sponsored video at all and all the coins that I'll be talking about are something that I've already invested in. In most of these tokens, especially the utility based ones, I've also worked on their projects and contributed over there as well. This is not a video where I'll show you the graphs and charts and do some technical analysis wherein I'll just say that this particular chart will go 10x, 20x based on just technical analysis. Here we'll actually look into the project, understand why I think that money will flow into that project and what is it actually trying to do. So let's start with the first group of projects that I think will do really well in the next coming years. The group of projects that I'm talking about are the ones that are currently working in AI maybe developing the infrastructure or developing some kind of AI applications using blockchain. The thing about AI is that it really well fits with blockchain technology as well. Especially where AI projects need decentralized governance, that's where blockchain comes in. So let's look at some of the projects that are really doing well in uh, this particular trend. So let's go over to coin market cap and here you can just go over to ranking and here you can just go over to AI projects and look at the list of all the projects that are here. But let's talk about specific ones. Now, Neo Protocol, it has already reached a very high market cap. And that's why I don't think that there is a chance of it going 5x or 10x from here onwards. So let's look at other projects. Over here we have Render Project is currently working on the infrastructure part. So it's supporting AI projects to be built. So that's something that you can probably uh, take a look at. As you might already know that NVIDIA has grown significantly within the last few years and that is all thanks to the AI development that is happening right now. So no matter if OpenAI is doing well, Gemini is doing well or even Meta is doing well in the AI sector, it does not matter. Everyone will be using NVIDIA at the end of the day. So that's why NVIDIA has grown significantly in the last few years and that's exactly what I'm talking about over here. Render is building the AI infrastructure. So infrastructure based projects will do well. Now apart from Render, there are other coins as well which are uh, currently working on the infrastructure part. One of them is Akash Network. It is also trying to build a marketplace for AI projects. So that is also doing something similar. Uh, but apart from that, there are some projects that I have personally worked on and they do not have a very large market cap. So let me just directly go over to that project. One is Singularity. So Singularity Net, uh, its token is AGIX. That is one of the projects that I had contributed to. So last year I had traveled to Singapore for the token 2049 event where I met some of its developers and that's where I was interested in contributing to the project. You can see it on my GitHub. Last year I had contributed to developing their SDK for JavaScript. So this was one of the projects that I had bought its tokens for and the price at that time was around $0.3 which has now touched 0 0.9 which has already given me like 3x returns. So you can definitely check Singularity Net out. It's one of the few projects that I feel has really good potential but needs a bigger developer community. So now that we are clear about the AI related projects and you might have seen almost all the YouTubers talk about AI crypto projects doing well in the next few years. Let's actually look at some other sectors where most of the people are missing out on. One of the most important ones are DeFi protocols or launch pads and so on and so forth. 
Currently, most of the transactions that are happening on Solana itself are facilitated by Pump.Fun. That is one of the launch pads on Solana itself. It has given birth to some of the biggest meme coins out there and there is a huge potential for them to venture into maybe creating their own token if they do so or they can even get into lending and borrowing in crypto itself. Although they have hinted that they'll be releasing a token if they do so then just keep an eye out for that but apart from that we also have some other DeFi protocols that I will be talking about over here one of which is Jupiter. Now, Jupiter is one of those platforms that I think almost everyone who has been buying cryptocurrencies has used in the recent past. It's one of those few DeFi platforms which gives you really good fees when you're swapping cryptocurrencies. One of the few features that I've seen on Jupiter, which I really liked, is this Jitto only mode. Now, what does this Jitto only mean? Basically, when you might have purchased certain cryptocurrencies on, say, Pump.Fun or any of these uh, platforms, what happens is when you place an order, say, the cryptocurrency's price currently is 0.5 Solana and you've placed an order at that price particular price. There are a lot of these crypto sniper bots which will front run your transaction and fill in their transaction before yours. That causes the price of the cryptocurrency to increase to say 0.6 Solana. Now these bots will immediately sell it and you will be left with 0.1 Solana's loss. So there are a lot of these bots that are coming up and to combat these bots this is one of the features that I really liked on Jupiter itself. And that's why this is one of those few projects that I am looking forward for. Now, there is something that I still haven't talked about. And it's probably the most important part of this video. What I'm about to talk about is going to be something which probably can topple the entire crypto industry. I'm talking about something which can probably break the cryptography on which the entire crypto system works, especially Bitcoin. Currently, there is huge research going on in quantum computers. Our current computers or our current systems only work on binary. They only work on zeros and ones. However, quantum computers have multiple states. That means they are not just restricted to zeros and ones. What I'm trying to get to is that they are much more efficient than normal computers. Although the entire financial system works on SHA-256 encryption for its cryptography. And that is exactly what is used by Bitcoin. However, if quantum computers start getting better, it will be much easier to break this encryption and also break the entire cryptography on which Bitcoin stands on. Although I'm pretty sure that most of these cryptocurrencies will form a consensus and switch to a new algorithm which is quantum resistant altogether. However, there are certain cryptocurrencies which have already done so and have thought about the future. One of those is Algorand. Now, this is one of those cryptocurrencies that I have been closely looking at for the last three to four years. Algorand currently uses algorithms which are quantum resistant, which means if tomorrow quantum computers come in, they won't be affected by it and, and the quantum computers can still not break these cryptographic hash functions. This is one of the few sectors which is not talked about at all. Now, apart from Algorand, there is IOTA, which is another cryptocurrency that you can probably take a look at, which is again quantum resistant. It uses one-time signatures, which are believed to be quantum resistant. Now, of course, I'm not giving you any kind of financial advice, and I would highly recommend you guys to do your own research before looking at these cryptos. But these are some of the cryptos that I have included in my portfolio. If you want to know my entire crypto portfolio, which tokens I am investing in and what is the reason behind it, then just comment it down below. I'd love to know what type of videos you want to watch next. Till then, like this video, share this video with your friends and subscribe to the channel for more such updates.